Tuning into the brain's music. How neuroscientists are decoding song from brainwaves. In a hospital suite, as the haunting chords of Pink Floyd's, Another Brick in the Wall, filled the air, neuroscientists at Albany Medical Center were on a unique mission. They recorded the activity of electrodes placed on the brains of patients preparing for epilepsy surgery. The purpose? To track the electrical impulses of brain regions that are activated by different elements of the music, from tone and rhythm to harmony and words. Their ambitious aim was to reconstruct the song from these neural recordings alone. Fast forward over a decade, and after a thorough analysis by researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, we have our answer. They did it. One of the iconic lines, all in all it was just a brick in the wall, was played back through this reconstructed data. The rhythm was intact, and while the words were a tad muddled, they were unmistakably there. It's the very first time a song has been recognizably recreated from brain activity alone. This breakthrough illustrates the possibility of capturing and translating brain waves, shedding light on the musical facets of speech. Those intrinsic musical elements, known as prosody, lend deeper meaning to our words through rhythm, stress, accent, and intonation. It's worth noting, the method currently relies on intracranial electroencephalography or IEEG recordings taken right from the brain's surface. For those struggling to communicate due to conditions like strokes or paralysis, these recordings might one day help replicate the musicality of speech. This could be the key to moving beyond the robotic tones of today's communication aids. The researchers emphasized music's emotional and prosodic richness and potential application in brain-machine interfaces, especially for those grappling with disabling neurological or developmental disorders. While it might sound like pure sci-fi now, there's hope that one day we'll achieve similar results without needing to access the brain directly. Perhaps, with sensitive scalp-attached electrodes. Though, as the research team points out, the non-invasive methods of today still have a long way to go. The researchers liken current brain-machine interfaces to a keyboard for the mind. They may decode words, but they lack the expressiveness of natural human speech. This isn't the first endeavor of its kind. Back in 2012, a similar project reconstructed words from brain activity. And more recent efforts have even tried to translate intended speech from brain signals associated with facial movements. But this new study is pioneering in its attempt to decode the auditory cortex's response to all the nuances of sound. The team's reanalysis of old brain recordings has allowed for the recreation of entire musical phrases. They could also pinpoint specific brain regions involved in detecting rhythm and discern how different parts of the auditory cortex respond to varying musical cues. This work reinforced the belief that while the left side of our brain leans more toward language, the right side has a stronger affinity for music. This research marks a significant stride in our understanding of how the brain processes both speech and music. As the field advances, we can look forward to more discoveries that might one day transform the lives of those who find it challenging to communicate. In this symphony of science, every note and every discovery adds another brick to the wall of our understanding. Remember to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.